Hello, everyone. Welcome to She Knows Arsenal. We're here. We are here. Oh, the loot is not muted for some reason. He just totally just dis disregards the rules every single time. Anyways, so while I'm doing my intro, so rude. Um, but yeah, you guys, we are here to have a little bit of fun. Uh, we're going to do keep or sell um, kind of game today. Uh, so make sure you guys are liking the video, subscribing to the channel, all that kind of stuff, getting into the chat and making sure you guys are involved because your guys' opinions definitely matter to me. Um, I haven't spoken to Gunnar Lee in a long time, so we definitely need to catch up a little bit. Thoughts on last time we, I feel like we did a show. I, it had to have been like Chelsea away yeah. or aroundish that time. Mm -hmm. And then we went through hell in December, January time. And like now we're like post Dubai and we're playing good. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about yeah. Arsenal right now? Listen, firstly, I'm not going to lie. That comment by Nashville was crazy. <laughs> my god i don't know why it's making me laugh so much but i'll be honest yeah we've missed out on a lot and um uh listen arsenal have been a roller coaster i think since december we um obviously went through that sticky sticky patch and i'll be honest i lost a bit of faith in terms of the league for sure but i knew i knew we i knew i'm more i'm more nervous overall i think obviously now speaking here i'm more nervous because i'm looking at liverpool's fixtures and i think that they've got a really good run to the end of the season but listen there's been so much that's gone through the, the goals one thing that i've loved to see um older guard as we spoke about the last game where people kind of was getting onto him he's not the right captain yada yada and we spoke about it the way he leads i love it and um even when i was chatting with dg on the not yesterday the day before that yeah. uh, we spoke about like ben white and they, they they lead in the same kind of way just by leading by example so I'm sure we're going to get into all of these kind of things when we do the um, you know, the, the kind of players that we want to sell and buy, so so sell and keep and stuff like that. But yeah, for me, it's gonna it's it's gonna it's squeaky bum time. Let's just say that. And last year we had what the last nine games, and um, I don't know if DG sync, and I know you don't look at the table too often, but we are top of the league. Swear down, so, yeah, it, it's that's <laughs> crazy. I never knew that. That's crazy. Big up our I lost check. Yo, yo, yeah, this guy's wow. crazy. But, uh, yeah, but no, it's gonna be um it's gonna be interesting. Like it's gonna be interesting how we end. For me, look, I think I don't want to sort of say too much what I said on G DG channel. I want obviously everyone to go and watch what we spoke about because it was like two hours we was there for chatting. But um I don't I don't know how the season's gonna end, but I just want that season to end in a way that we can go into next season and we can start off with a house on fire. Like that's and that's where I think I'm gonna leave it because yeah, I don't want to sort of say too much what I've said before. But there's gonna be so much that we're gonna set chat about. I don't wanna take away from the show. Yeah, I, I don't I just wanna if we're gonna go out, I want us to go out like respectful, if that makes sense. Yeah, like yeah last yeah, yeah. season was like yeah. very traumatic like the way that I was, I was, you know what Jess? i was going to ask you because we, we probably won't chat about it in the show i was chatting to dg about it what, what do you think is easier to win the prem for in arsenal's position right now or to win the champions league oh, i don't know like honestly they're both so difficult but i i feel like i feel more pressure to win the premier league i'll say that um even though like nobody's looking at our fixtures but we are and realizing how difficult they are from now until the end of the season so but the, the idea going into the season was that because we didn't win last season, we have to win this season. And I feel like there's more of an expectation where in the Champions League, we're kind of just, I don't know how we ended up becoming weirdly favorites. Like people are saying we're favorites, but we're not. We're yeah, not. I think, I think so, it was because of the football we're playing, but yeah. We're, we're definitely not. Uh, I think we saw that like even playing against Porto was like very touch and go, you know? So yeah, I think uh, I'd rather win the Champions League. I think there's more expectations to win the Prem, but looking at our fixtures from now until the end of the Premier League, it's, mm. it's rough. Playing mm. a lot of rivals in a short amount of time. And uh, there's nothing that like freaking Man United or Chelsea or Spurs would want more. I, mean, I know that Man United fans are saying that mm. they'd rather us win, but like, let's be freaking for real. They would love to stick the knife right in our back. So yeah, yeah it's looking it's looking scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm worried. <laughs> worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're gonna relieve a little bit of the pressure on that because um I was actually asked by one of 
the viewers to do like a sell keep sell thingy, you know, before the end of international break, just for a little bit of fun. Um, we'll probably do another one of these like during the transfer window, but it's fun to do this now. And so um, we're going to play a little game. And then through that, we'll talk about like, you know, I, I want to know, because I, I said something about Eucharist before Lee, and you were like saying you were disappointed in me for wanting him at, at Arsenal. I know that was you. And I was, that was like, a couple of weeks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can I just hold it? You see, you see what I don't like. People, that was a few weeks ago. Like football changes, you know. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What's changed? What's changed? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna chop it up. But yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so because I was like, what? Like, there's nothing wrong with this guy, but um, you probably wanted Tony. Like, I mean, let's be for real. And Tony's crap. So there you go. Um, but as you guys can see, we're going to do keep at all costs, keep, sell at the right price, sell now and loan. Um, as you guys can see, keep at all costs is me. Um, and so this is the standards. These are the uh. standards. I uh, said, deluded. Why are you so quiet? I feel like you're about to be on nonsense. I'm, I'm just really being, too. listen, I, I, listen, I, I'm definitely, I feel like Benjamin White, man. Anything I do, somebody's <laughs> speaking. Wow. Uh, you said be respectful. I didn't say anything. Listen. I'm waiting for my turn. I'm not on no nonsense. I'm a good guy. I help old ladies across the road. I'm just here to see what's going on. Like, who is this old lady? Like, yeah, I could, yeah, if, you know what? If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing. So I hear it. I hear let's it. Let's just you know continue with it. I I agree with that. So listen, um, we'll start off with I Who's do the old lady in the picture though. <laughs> I couldn't upset ADHD. This is gonna be the craziest show I've been in in a minute, you know. Like, it out. Yeah. like you think you're so young. Let's see. Well, I mean, baby face killer settings. And let's see what you look like when you're 35. Yeah, let's but you're looking like a like. black dot cotton in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. Okay. I love so, me. I love me. I'm saying I come in peace. I come in peace. I'm in your I'm in your house. Let's be respectful. All right. Cool. Let's see. All right. So um I do want to start off with just like some easier ones because we know like some people are just like going to be heap. Um, but Lee, mm -hmm. we have Raya here. I'm so sorry, but I need you to I need you to apologize to Raya right now. I'll be honest. Hey, I'll be honest. Can I can I just say something? Can I say something first? Don't get pressured. Because I'm I'm actually not happy with what you've just done there. I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I'll be real with you. This is this is this is me being real. I feel like Raya's been good. I'll give him his props, but I still wouldn't keep him. I still wouldn't keep him. Uh, why? Okay, I just look at Raya, and I, honestly, I just I, I said this the other day as again. For me, I feel like I still haven't seen. I know he's. I know the penalties. That was penalties. I haven't seen him have a game or I haven't seen him have games like where Ramsdale had against Leicester last season. I haven't seen it again or two, two seasons ago. I haven't seen against a, a performance against uh, Liverpool last season. And I know you're going to bring me all these numbers, but the I'm context not. is... The, the, the context is going to be missing because you're not going to add in that Holding was playing, that is now playing for Crystal Palace and hasn't played a game in the Premier League. You're not going to talk, you're not going to talk about Partey when he dropped off a cliff and he wasn't playing well. You're not going to talk about all these other things. So for me, look, like I'm not here to, you know, to to, to dump on a man. I feel he's been good, Pause. but I'm not, I'm not, yeah, yeah, major, but I'm not, I'm not somebody who's going to be, um, keeping them i'll be honest I, I feel like there are there are clear better options out there I, I really do and you know the funniest thing is i thought diego costa for porto he looks like a he looks like a better keeper to me i i, I feel i'd feel a bit more comfortable honestly so as well as he's played i feel he has grown into the stature of being an arsenal keeper but i'm not i'm not right i'm not counting my chickens just yet i'll be i'll be so honest with you i i don't know i feel like I'm not even going to give the numbers because the numbers are what they are, but I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on him needing to be able to, you know, back against the wall, save us. But is that soon there'll be more emphasis on how Arsenal play on a regular basis. Like, I don't know if we like, are there any goalkeepers that we know for sure can do both can play out from oh, the back the way that we need can claim crosses <laughs> and save back against the wall. 
Like I feel do, as though. Do you know like, what it is, though, right? I, f- I feel like all of I feel like a lot of David Raya's stats will be inflated this season because we've looked so good in terms of our defensive shape. We've looked imperious. We've got what the lowest XG in terms of defensive shots against us. We've you know we we have such high ball possession. So for him, you know, I feel he has. As I said, he has grown into it. I feel he has got a better connection. I've been to quite a few games of recently. I thought he was quite good against Porto overall. I'll, I'll give him that. I, I was at the Brentford game. I thought he was actually half decent in that. But I just feel like in those, it's funny again. I don't know if you know we reference um we reference other you know other podcasters. Now, the hardest position that was spoken about by um Gary Neville on the overlap um, that he he know he, I think he does the show with um. Ian Wright, he does it with um, Roy Keane, and there was a, I can't remember her name, it's so bad, the, the female footballer. Um, why Jill is her name Scott. called? No, it's not Jill. Jill? Yes, it's it is, yeah, Jill Scott. It is, yeah, it is Jill Scott, sorry, apologies. Oh, yeah. And th- it was the one that came up this morning, and he was saying the hardest position is a goalkeeper. And he said the hardest position for a top team is a goalkeeper. And the reason why is I know the concentration and stuff like that, but I just feel in those crucial moments at the top, I don't feel that David Raya is going to make the difference. I don't think he's going to be the difference. And that's why I'm saying he's done well. I give him all the props right now, but I still don't think he's on that top echelon of a keeper. That doesn't mean he's crap. That doesn't mean that I'm saying, oh, get him out. I'm just saying I feel there's a clear gap that could be exploited in the market trying to find him. A better keeper. There's, you know, it's no, it's there's no, there's no harm in saying that. So yeah, he looks calm. Yeah, he looks proactive. Yeah, he's great with when it comes to crossing. But I still, I, I need to be convinced. I need to be convinced that he's going to help me in the big moments. I've seen it. I've seen it with every other big player in this squad. I've seen it with Tomiyasu when he locked up Martin, Mo, Mo Salah on the left hand side last season. I've seen it with Martinelli because he got 15 goals last season. We know what Saka's on. I've seen it um, with uh, Jorginho in big games. I've seen Deck and Rice all season. I've seen. I just need certain players like Jesus to step up and show me that you can do it in the big moments. I need it. To, I need to see it like when we talk about David Raya. I need to see it from some of these players and. And, 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 and you know what? I'm going to include, I don't want to go too further far forward, but people like Saliba, because in the crunch moments, I actually haven't seen him step up. That's not to say he won't, because he's fantastic, but I'm not leveraging my support to somebody who I haven't seen these things. So it's not like me... It's harsh when him. he's locked up Haaland twice, man. No, he, I, no, he he has, I agree, because Champions League, he looked like a little... A yeah, little yeah, little. And, that, and, and again, it's not me It's not me picking on anybody. I'm, I'm trying to be fair for the squad. So for me, I'm just saying... Going back to David Raya, you've put him in there, keep him at all costs. And I'm like, mm, yeah, it like, just it's be like key. a bit, yeah, yeah. Like, like you've done too much there. Like, I'm like, yeah. yo, like, if you're saying you're a just banker, too much. you can't be putting him next to you, that like, for me. So do you, okay, Deluda, do you think it's fair to say that Raya looks better because he's playing with a good defence? Or it's a bit, of, it's a bit, it's a bit of both, Jess. Like I, like I said, I don't think it's a keep at all cost thing. I, I, I would put certain players in that. I think it's a keep, but that, I mean, what can you really expect from Raya? In it, obviously, I agree with Lee in that. You know, naturally, I want to know if if my keeper is being peppered that he can make saves and stuff. But we're com- we're becoming a better team. We're on the front foot a lot more. I, you know, Raya did his thing in the in the Porto game, so I'm with that man. I, I think Raya's calm. Keeper all costs a bit too much for me, but he's cool, man. Like we spoke about this, Jess. I feel too much was done with this whole Ramsdale Raya thing. As Lee said on my platform, I don't really care about either one. I like them both. I'm not setting up shop. I would love for Ramsdale to get more football if the world was fair I like what Raya is doing so yeah man I think it's a keep I think Raya's showing his quality he's doing his thing the jury's naturally going to still be out but he's calm man he's cool yeah I I feel like he has made saves I just feel like they because he's not maybe as they're not as frequent and we're not back against the wall like I still feel like Ramsdale just encourages so much calamity back there and because Raya doesn't do that there's not those natural like and good luck like I agree with one of the comments good luck finding another Allison because they don't exist you know I just Man City don't even have an Allison you know so I like Raya and I would definitely keep him and I know we're gonna keep him do, do you know what I, can, I, mm-hmm. can I just say, say something to that as well yeah, yeah. I, I feel like and I, I, this season's changed so much for me and I Mm-hmm. Those kind of comments, it's almost like it's so hard to kind of accept that because 
you can say, oh, where are you going to find another Rodri? Well, I'm seeing a system where Endo looks like one of the better DMs in the in the, in the the league right now, probably even in the world, if you actually literally look at it properly. So I just feel like there are, that we always say, we're good luck finding another Alisson or Edison or whoever, uh, uh, Manyan, Mike Manyang from um, AC Milan. But I just feel like there are players out there. It's down to the scouting. It's down to all of these different, you know, you know, scouting teams to try and find these players because there are players out there that you can find. And again, I'm not sticking on, you know, one player because David Raya, I'm not saying he's crap by any means. He's not. I just feel like, you know, there's sometimes it's, it's almost like an easy thing to say, good luck finding this or good luck finding that because there are players out there. We just got to find them. Like the guy costs 16 million pounds and he's literally looking like for bang for buck, one of the best signings of the season. He is like, whether we want to admit it or not. And um, yeah, look, like for me, Raya has been he's he's been good, man. But I, I'm not sitting here. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and forget how he looked against um, Spurs at home, where he made two mistakes, looked like Calamity Jones. I'm not going to forget Lons away. I'm not going to forget the, some of the silly mistakes that he has made, and he's equally made some fantastic saves. So I just feel like doing too much, even putting him in those, like some of these brackets. But it is what it is. What about Ramsdale? Is anybody trying to keep him? You know me, yeah. Keep at all costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep at all costs. No, no. I'll be honest. I, I, I think sell at as well. I'll, I'll say sell at the right price. I'll say probably, yeah. DG. Same, like you know, in an ideal world, I'd like him to accept being number two and keep trying to push Raya into that first team spot, but that's not how it works. Like it is, well, it is adapt or survive, isn't it? And right now, Raya is, I wouldn't say he's looking like a significant upgrade to the to, to everybody on, on Ramsdale, but in terms of what Arteta demands, he's doing his thing, and this is the image the guy wants to go into. I mean, Raya was his first choice when we were trying to replace Leno, so yeah, sell at the right price, man. We should get it, we need to get a decent fee for Ramsdale, what even though. Fee? Brentford like what thing. is the what is the right price for like what are you guys expecting like he's english he's in the national team i mean this is one of the things i'm always looking at edu like kind of like five million edu. upwards okay because we bought him for like what 25 or something like that yeah, the, around them kind of fees there but i, 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 I kind of i had him down as 20 million pounds i had him down as 20 million to sell or bought uh as in to to be bought by another team so oh. yeah, to be sold yeah yeah to be sold so you got to make a profit on him surely yeah, I just I, I know people are gonna expect 45 million pounds, but I just I don't know who's gonna actually pay that money. But I feel like we should be getting no? yeah, he, yeah, I feel people should be paying that money, but I just feel like I don't feel we're gonna get that money. I just for some reason I feel like we'll get because they, we, we we everyone knows we're buying a keeper, so they know we have to get rid of him. So we're not in the strongest position as you know, if, if we didn't have Raya. So I mean I feel like there'll be a market for him. He's English. He's young. He has good, decent experience. Like, I would be really disappointed if we only got, like, what we paid for him. Like, if we don't make a profit on him, I feel like I still will feel like Edu's not doing a good enough job. As, you know, like, I don't feel like, like, I feel like if Chelsea were selling him, they would fi think that they're going to get at least 35 40. But we're like, mm, maybe not so much. So, um, I'm definitely selling him. I feel like he's not in the plans and doesn't need to be. Um, he's a good young goalkeeper, but as we've seen against Brentford, like it's just not it, you know? So yeah. Um, at least 30 million plus, I would say with, with Ramsdale. Um, let's stick with the players at the back. Obviously Saliba would be a keep at all costs. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, hundred percent. I don't think there's no discussion. DG, I'm no sorry. Discussion. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Gabrielle. Keep it all costs. Same, same. Keep it all costs. It's interesting because like it wasn't too long ago where some people were saying that we needed to upgrade upon him. What's changed this season? You think? <sighs> Well, people I'm, are using I'm their eyes now. Person. People are using their eyes. That's just literally it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You know, he, he doesn't get a lot of praise, really and truly. He saves the Libra a lot of times and vice versa. That's what players should be doing. Like, it's a great partnership. Obviously, everyone's got a price, but Gabriel's central to what we're doing and he's getting better and better. So, yeah, he needs to stay, man. We've got one of the best centre-half duos in the world, in world football. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. 
Yeah, I, I I agree with that. I feel like there's no reason to even entertain anything and to replace him and get somebody to partner Saliba would be so difficult. So mm. I agree with that for sure. Um, ben White just signed a new deal. And all this nonsense with Southgate is just stupid. Like, I really, to be honest, I don't have a, any skin in the game, so I don't really care. But, um, mm. Lee, I wanted to get your kind of, like, thoughts on the whole, like, Southgate, Ben White. Like, how do you feel about that situation and also him signing a new deal? I mean, I I, I said Ben White is definitely, he's my favorite player. I mean, I, I just, I like how nonchalant he is. I just like the mm. fact that he just could get some of it. As I said, he's a leader in a different way compared to some of the other players. Um, and I feel like it's keep at all costs. I don't even think it's keep. I think it's keep at all costs. I think when you look at what he offers, the fact that he can play in a DM role, we haven't seen it for Arsenal, but he can do that. He can play right centre back. He can play right back. He can do the inverted role as well, which is obviously right back, but, you know, like the slash whatever. So for me, I just think, the guy is just superior in everything that he does. He never drops a six, five out of ten ever. Yes, I will say there was a sp sp patch of maybe four games in it earlier on in the season that he was quite poor. But over the tenure of his his Arsenal career, he's been fantastic for Arsenal. He he literally is just a great great player. Um, and I think somebody who will go on to do great things for Arsenal, um, not that he hasn't done already. So, yeah, man, yeah. for me, Benny Blanco is uh, for sure the guy. In terms of the England stuff, I mean, as I, say, I, I couldn't care less about that stuff for me. I'm yeah. always, obviously, um, always looking at it from an Arsenal's rose-tinted glasses kind of situation. And for me, the less players that go is the better, you know, for me. I'm not yeah. looking at it and worried about, about that stuff. But it is unfortunate, you know, because... You do want to see your players get the highest level of recognition. And there are Arsenal boys there. Declan, there's, I think there's, is it three? It's uh, Declan, Raya, not sorry, Raya, Ramsdale, sorry, and Saka, isn't it? Yeah. So it would have been four boys out of 25 that would have made the squad. So, yeah, like the, the more players, you know, the continuity, stuff like that. But listen, mate, he let him go, I beef her, get his tan, get whatever. He's, he's newly married and all that. And, um, Make 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 some babies do what he wants to do, innit? What? So okay, so I was I was doing a show the other day and there was a lot of conversation around like Tommy versus Ben White. And one of the things that continuously pops up is, yeah, but Ben White's not a good defender. He's not good 1v1. Why do you feel like there's like, do you feel like that's a, a black mark against Ben White? Because I do agree that there are times where he's up against the trickiest of wingers and he does get cooked. For me, I feel like that's just one little bad thing about him. But is that something that like is something that would make you consider maybe starting Tommy over him? Is that something that, you know, should be considered in terms of Tommy maybe starting? Because there are some people that feel like Tommy is just better. And I don't agree. But do you think that's something that he can work mm. on? Or Well, I'll be honest. I, what I heard is I heard that the competition was going to be Timber and Ben White. That's what I heard. So I mean, I mean that's so for me, obvious. I feel yeah, like that's really I, I, yeah. obvious. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to be the, the the situation. I don't think it's going to be. So I don't even know why that's actually a comparison because I think Tommy Asu is going to be centre back and left back, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing. So yeah, um, I, I get it because I, I, it's weird because you've, you're looking at Ben White, who's such a good all rounder, and then you're looking at. So I you, who I believe is the best one to one on one defender in the club. I, I genuinely do believe he's the Agreed. best one on one defender at the club. So it's quite hard because the levels defensively are so high for Tommy Asu, but obviously he just can't stay fit. So, you know, it's, again, I feel like people have got like things stuck in their mind. I think every time he goes up against Rashford, I know he's the night before he's worried because Rashford seems to always have this thing against number. him that, yeah, he's just cooking him. So, um, yeah, it's a weird one, but. I, 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 you know, I think people just uh, run on, run their agendas, you know, the same way how people say they run their agendas with me. I'm running my agenda with uh, Raya, for example. So I'm not going to say Yeah, <laughs> I ain't going to go too crazy in it. But no, I, I, I will, I, I will say that. Um, no, Ben White doesn't deserve any slander, man. That guy is just, uh, he's just so good, man. So good. I agree. I, I feel like it's just something that they focus on that he's maybe not as good at. Mm. But just because Tommy's better than him at one thing doesn't mean that he's the overall better. 
Yeah, no. um, Tommy is not know, a better overall fullback. He's not. No, he's not. not. No. He's not. Um, Lucas says he was not 100% when Matoma cooked him last season. This season he did well. And also, he plays injured a lot. I know this is not a good thing. Like, I wouldn't say that, you know. But during his bad patch, he was 100% whole, like carrying something. So, yeah, like I think Ben White is a, a a keep at all costs. I just put him there for whatever. But um, there's not really – I wouldn't really even be entertaining selling him at all. Um, Tommy just signed a new deal. Thoughts? Well-deserved. Keep. Is it is it well-deserved though? Is it well yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I know the injuries are a bad it. thing, but he's definitely central to our plans. You know, he can play left back, play right back, play in defence. Very good in the air. You just praised him being one v one. I think it's reflected in the level of the the length of his contract better yet because it's not like it's not like a Benjamin White deal essentially. So it's the only mark against Tommy <laughs> Asu being fit in it. But yeah, keep money central to the plans. All right, Alden. For the for the for the for the topic of the show. For the topic of the show. Let me do the devil's advocate thing. You're saying he could do X, Y, Z, right? Playing all these positions. But what's the point if his injury record is as scary as of Osherman's? That well, that's, what I that's his biggest that's his biggest issue. Your biggest trait but, you can have your biggest trait is being available, isn't it? That's why I don't think he's been given a longer term. When he's fit, he's quality is a bit like the party thing. When is it run out? When is it run out? 20, I think it's until 2026 with an option of a third year. So that's probably a thing where you've got two years or so to show us that you can stay fit. I'm keeping Tommy, man. He's quite no, listen, I, listen, I'm I'm just I'm just doing devil's advocate here because I just feel like we can do the whole like bro for me, people and people always go think I'm crazy, but they don't understand. I'm from London. My favorite player in the Arsenal in the Emirates era, other than Fabregas, is Jack Wilshire. He just means a lot to me because he's local lad. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Come up through the ranks, and he's just—I don't know. Like he's just my one of my favorite players, isn't it? So, yeah. But I can't—I can't say too much in terms of his performances because he wasn't on the pitch. So I can give all the props. Man can turn up against Barcelona when they get Messi and all these other players and praise him for one v one versus Salah, mate. But, Salah, well, mate. but like. Uh, listen, he can, but then if he's out for the next 37 games, what does that do for me? Yeah, that's where, again, the best trait, that's where I agree, the best trait you could have is being available. I know, I, oh yeah, that's what I'm just saying. Is it is it 100% deserved? That, that's all yeah. I, I'm just... I'm just putting is he a better out. okay? Is he a better player? Is he a better player than when he first walked in? Just two questions. I just got two questions. Lee. Is he a better player than when he first walked in? I know the nastiness you're going to do, but yes, I'll no. see how he sets you up. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the nastiness you're going to do. I'm I'll just asking, asking you, bro. Is he a I'll better player, you. bro? There's bare I'll, politicians I'll stuff. Cool. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Yes, he is. He is. All yeah. right, cool. In any walk of life, if you step into an organization and you've proven your quality, are you not going to be rewarded if you're underpaid? Yes, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes or no? See how he is. Hold on, hold on. Bro, hold on. I'm just asking questions. Yes all or right, no? All right, all right. But what about if you... Well, okay, fine. Using that same example... Yes or guy, no? We can't be funny. Okay, okay, yes, 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 okay, yes, 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 right. yes. All right, cool. But what about with that same example, I've used up all my 22 days of holiday and, yeah. I'm and, and now, and now, I'm still getting paid. You're meant to... When you use it at 22 days, you're meant to... If you take a day off, you're not meant to get paid. I'm still getting you, I'm still making you get paid, even though you don't turn up to work. Do you just still deserve oh, this? That is thing? this is where I'm in agreement with you in that why that's why he hasn't got a Benjamin White length of contract. It's now you're on trial, you're showing what you could do. The best trait you can have is being available. As Mikel Arteta says, we've got one of the finished squads. If we want to be a team that can compete across 38 games and have any many in all comps, we need players that are fit. You look through the vast majority of our squad. There's many a play there's very few players that you can bet are going to be fit. Benjamin White's one of them, Saka's one of them, Rice is one of them, Odegaard's one of them, and of course there's a few. The vast majority of this squad cannot stay fit for the duration of the season. That's just me, man. I'm uh, listen, I'm, I'm doing devil's advocate. I, I just feel like yes. Questions to be answers. Dance, dance. hundred percent. No player is without question in this Arsenal awesome squad. Yeah, definitely nobody's without question. And Tommy Asu definitely has some questions around him because of his injury situation he is i think an elite 1v1 defender so you and he's not necessarily a starter as your squad guy so it's kind of like okay but this is kind of like the last straw like i do feel like if he can't get through the end of the season and like even like he'll be here next season if he can't get through that then definitely it's time to like let him go 
Diallo says, nah, man, we have to sell Rambo. Not again next season. I agree with that. Um, I think most people agree with that now. Um, and Diallo also says, Jess, let's be honest, DG is keep at all costs. I mean. You don't talk tough. I let the streets talk in it. I'm just doing my I job. I thought we had hard. this conversation, guys, yesterday. I said, um, you guys need to have my back. Why are you guys no, like, helping yeah, him? No. We don't yeah. do link ups and all of that around here. We pop yeah. out our on our James, yeah. bro. Like, oh, so no, man, man. Man. Yeah. Way. we're not Zinchenko yes. out here. Yeah, but <laughs> Leo says Gabriel, oh. Jesus, Zinchenko, you guys are on nonsense. Leo says, you got Benjamin White though, he's doing well, man. He was compared to Rob Holden and that a nice keeper at all costs. Pick him up, man. No, wow. like that. You are just he just he keeps saying it like as if because like, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I don't see any, mm. you're, you're on defense already. I don't know why. This is I'm a not nice on defense. Game. The best form of defense is attack. We're attacking all moments. Okay. Leo says Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko are also injury prone. So would you sell them as well? We're gonna get to that, but I yep. will say that I feel um, like Depending on how you feel about the player, you are willing to accept things that you probably shouldn't. Like, I'm same across the board. If you're injury prone, I'm looking at you sideways. But some people, yeah, that in mind, if folks. they like people a little bit more, they will let it go. Mm. So, minute, 30, um, minute 32, bear mm. that in mind, people, because I know what's <laughs> coming. Bear that in mind, the rewind. No, mm. that's all I'm going to say. All right, mm. so we know Timber is like a keep keep at all costs like we don't really have to just excited for him to be back right like um it's so funny he's played like 90 minutes and he's like our best player like it's insane like he's so loved like i hope he lives up to the expectations um let's go with zinni i feel like this one can be a little bit of like a mm. contentious one um i know where i sit lee he's in the gray area like man it's you know what's so crazy right so it depends what happens to the midfield. That's when I can feel like I can fully answer it. But if you're asking me right now, I'm selling now. Ooh. I'm selling now. Harsh. Damn. Yeah, I'm selling now. If it was, if, if, if we get, if, if, well, we spoke about this the other day, DG. I'll sell him. I'll sell him. If we get a certain mid position field in the midfield, I'm selling him. Because I feel like we've got enough defenders. Oh, I reckon we need another one if our bodies should be. No, so I, I, no, obviously. So get a center back in. So that so get a center back in. I think we need a center back. We've got two right backs with Tom Yet. Sorry, with um we've got and two White. right backs with Timbar and White. We've also got two center backs. We obviously need another one, and then we've got two left backs with um uh Kivior and um Timber. So for me, I feel Timber's gonna solidify that spot also not timber so tom yasu's going to solidify that spot i feel like it's more than enough to to keep to to, to get rid of him to be honest i think he's in that gray area personally i'm keeping zinni but it's it's one way i'm saying keep but i'm also saying sell at the right price if Same. i'm honest that's where you know, i, see, I am you might, might need a next category for that one but i guess mm. if i have to pick based on what jess has got there i'd say keep zinni for now but diminished squad role sort of settings definitely for mm. sure like he's I just don't feel like we're in a position where we like are desperate, or, like we need to be desperate to sell him. And I wouldn't sell him for peanuts either. Like, yeah. But if we were to like, let's say we buy a center back, then I feel like you could make a better argument for it. Just like you guys were saying, because like then Tommy Asu doesn't have to cover center back as much. And then he can be more of like the fullback and then there's less room for Zinni. But if we were not to bring in a center back, I would feel like, okay, you know, we need to keep him. But he's definitely in the sell at the right price category for me. He's definitely not, like, we don't have to keep him, but, like, I'm not desperate to get rid. Um, yeah, like, so just going up, we've been linked to centre-back in the summer, like, strongly. All the reports, yeah. I'm sure, you because I've been seeing we'll you probably guys. Do, one, yeah. We're going to get a centre back. We're going. To, we're definitely getting a centre midfielder, and a lot of money is going to be spent on that forward line. So, with that being said, let's say we do keep him because that's the, that's what I was going off. I was going off the premise that we're gonna we're gonna get those three players in for sure, and then it, obviously anyone else is going to be a bonus. So, we've got two left backs that he know we know he's not going to start over. We've got two right backs we know he's not going to start over for is sure. It, for is it a hundred percent that he's not going to start at left back though? 
Even though I somewhat agree, being devil's advocate, I'm playing Tommy Asu in Timber. Is it a hundred percent that Zinni's not going to start over? What about Kivior? Hello. Yeah, Kivior. No, I didn't even. I know I did Kivior. I'm doing Kivior and and because uh, DG is just completely acting like the guy in which. I'm happy you mentioned that because I wasn't going to say because nobody asked me. Like it's probably feasible to expect a fullback to come in and and Kirio to move back to centre half. I don't know if it's going to persist in this. No, nah, I, I think I think. I, I think like I think he's going to be an Uzele exhausting. Right? Listen, regardless, <laughs> right? Regardless what happens, right? Let no, but even just going off that premise for a second. Okay, cool. Let's say that he does go centre back and then we get a left back in. That means he's definitely going to be in third position in that spot. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. Zinni's role is going to diminish. You know, as we get better okay, creative okay. wise hey, wait, on, as a team, on, his on, role is going to diminish and the cult, the pros to his game are going to be out. Okay, hold on. So, 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 so if he's, his role diminishes, we know he's got a persisting. Yes, I, I, Lucas, suck your mum, man. I do not hate you, man. <laughs> stop this nonsense, man. That is jarring. Proper yo, jarring. Yo, yo, okay, yo. okay, okay, okay. Proper jarring. Okay, no more, no more, no more. All right, cool. So basically, we got we got two left backs or three left backs. We got two right backs. We got three centre backs or whatever, whatever was going to be the case. He's oh, he's going to be redundant in those positions. He's not centre back anyway. We get a midfielder in. So we're going to have Jorginho. He's definitely staying. We also have, um, obviously, the likes of Fabio Vieira, Odegaard, if Partey stays, except who all of these players in there. You've got Havertz, who's, who is known to be a left eight for Arteta. I don't see where... I don't see where he actually stays. I don't know where how many games he plays. And the guy's got a consistently bad calf issue that keeps him out. That's games one thing that hurts him. So, I didn't apologise to Kirio, by the way. Because I haven't actually said nothing against Kirio. Like this is this is how you prove the internet is so silly. But let's play the game. Yeah, also, at the at the end of the season, Zinni is only going to have two years left on his deal. Facts. I kind of feel like I wouldn't want to extend him. So if you're not depends how Arteta views him, isn't it really? Yeah, because you're not trying to give him any more money, really. Do it pen, yeah. man. Like, like you said earlier, just if some of the reported me. fees for Zinni come in, these 45 million euros and all of these sort of things, the club, are, I'd, I'd find it hard not to sell him. I just think there's no in between with Zinni. Like, do I think he's reliable in, in a defensive regards? No. Do I think he's someone that you could be got at? Do I feel as much as we're becoming more of an all rounded team and, and we're sorting out our midfield and stuff like that, the pros to Zinni's games are not outweighed by the cons? But I do think people are harsh, man. Zinni was a revelation to a degree when he signed for this club for all his faults. You know, you saw what Arteta was doing when, when he replaced him with Tierney. And I just think with his transferable experience, being a Premier League winner and all of that jazz, there's a lot that Mikel Arteta values from the individual. That being said, as we get better and we've seen it already and it could probably happen with some players we're talking about, it's adapt. It's sink or swim. If you don't adapt and become better, you're gonna go from being a regular to a squad player, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've seen it with Tini. We've seen it with Ramsdale. Um, there's a mm. bunch of players you got over there that that could be the case with as well. If, like, let's say after this break we come back and Zinni, Tommy, and Kivi are all available, who do you guys think is starting? Well, Kiria's form dictates that he should probably be playing, isn't it, really and truly? He deserves to be playing. He's fit, he's firing, he's been able to be part of what the team's doing. If everybody was fit and on the level playing ground, then that's a different scenario. But the team's picking itself. I don't know what Arteta is thinking, and he's going to change it at some point. But Kiria deserves to play going into the City game. Because uh, Arteta, I think, has a different feeling. or like I feel like he likes Zinchenko more than maybe we do. And he trusts yeah. him more. So I feel like his guy. that has to come into to play. He convinced them to kind of like him and Jesus to leave City and like have like a big role here. So, yeah, well, I feel look, like... Even that though, like I don't... Look, he could be his guy, you know, QVO. But I do also look at it and I think to myself, it could just be circumstantial. Like we actually don't have anybody else there to play. So, you know, we've got to wait and see until we get the players back because, you know, we know Arteta has favourites. So yeah, we've got, we got to see, we've got to see. Keep you or keep? For now, yeah. yeah. But, you know, oh. he's an, he's another one that's linked with... I wouldn't sell Kirio, to be fair. I think he's central to the plans. But if we're really trying to reinvest, he's someone persistently linked with AC Milan, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe if there's a chance to double our money, fair enough. But I think Kirio's finally getting to show his quality. He's finally had a full season. Keep him, man. And I'm keen to see what he looks like when he plays centre-half. You know, if you can't 
take in theory. I know we're talking about, you know, if, who would play, but if you can't in theory take Zinchenko's spot or Timber's spot or Gabriel's spot, then just show you can be a reliable squad player, which he's shown at the moment. Like we've been dealing with injuries since August and I can't imagine that won't be the theme to a degree next season. As Arteta said, we've got one of the finished squads. Hopefully that changes in the summer. But yeah, man, Kirill's doing his thing keeping, man. He's 24 years of age. He's finally roughing out, um, ironing out some of those rough edges. Yeah. We've got Kirill, man. Same. So keep it all cost, Declan Rice. We know that. But let's talk about two of the players that I think one that we expected to play next to him and one that's surprisingly doing really well. Um, Jorginho. I know we're going to keep him, but Lee, has your kind of like feeling, because I remember after the Chelsea game, like, I think we both were kind of like Jorginho was getting smoked, like in midfield yeah. against Chelsea. Yeah. And then also there was the Spurs mistake. How have you, like, how have you felt about his performances as of late? Because he's his stature in the team seems to have grown and he's put in some really good performances. I think with Jorginho, I think the thing that I know it's going to sound so stupid because it's almost like a sentiment of see, but it's not. I think the reason why you have to keep Jorginho is not only have his performances actually been quite good, but we have no experience in the squad. And mm. I just think the know-how, you need that because next season, let's say in the worst case scenario, touch wood, touch wood, we don't win anything. I think his experience and know-how will help us a lot next season in those months where we need yeah. to kind of get through a tricky game. So I think even for that, it's just that reason alone, you need to keep him. But he's, it's just nice that his performances have actually warranted him getting a new contract. And, you know, I think when you do look at specific performances, you look at it and you think, oh, well, you know, why are we going to keep him? But because earlier in the season, he didn't look as great. Spurs at home, he didn't look great. Chelsea away, he didn't look great. But if you look at the totality of the season, he's been great every time he comes on the pitch. And I actually mean great. I don't just mean it because I'm saying it. So I'm not just saying it. I'm, I actually mean it. So, yeah, I think Jorginho, there's, it's a double-edged sword as to why you have to keep him, actually. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's the experience as well as the um, the know-how to see through games. And, um, yeah, I think that's um, perfect. And I think he's the only one other than Partey that can do what, what he does in terms of those kind of line splitting passes from mm. deeper. Yeah, for sure. Um, then we have like, obviously Partey, it's another controversial one. I know that there's some people that feel like we just, because there's no one else that can, is like Partey. I would say that about Partey. I do think he's kind of like a unicorn in that way where there's not a lot of players that can do the things that he does. Um, but we just don't get to see it enough. And and me and DG were talking about this earlier too. Like, is there going to be a market for him? Um, 30 something years old, one year left on his deal. Constant very injury prone. Wages. Exactly. Wages. Is there actually going to be, is it worth, you know, just giving him away basically? If we're going to just have to, if we let him go, we're going to let him go for free anyway the next summer. So it's, it's a touchy one. Like I know, there's like a big affinity towards him. If I felt like there was going to be a market, I would definitely sell him. But for some reason, I just feel like he's just going to end up staying. Um, any thoughts on this one? Like, well, hold on. Let's just, uh, if there was a market, then would you sell him? Yeah. And I think I that's would. the better question. Yeah, I would. Like, I'd sell him at the right price. Like, I'd sell him for 30 million or whatever, 25, 30 million. I would. Mm -hmm. um, would you? It's so tough, you know. It's so it's so tough because he's just he's he is absolute quality. Like him in the team, I genuinely feel like we're winning everything. I I do, I, that, and that's how important I feel he is to any squad. I think he's that good. So it's tough, and you almost like you're praying. You're like, oh, you know, please stay fit. Please stay fit. This season's gonna be a season. This season, and it's you know, if he if he doesn't if he doesn't if he does stay next season. And we, you know, we, we he doesn't play for 50, 60 percent of the season again. I'm gonna look like I've got egg on my face, but I don't know, man. It's a, I, I, I honestly, I know it sounds like a copper. I actually don't even know what to say. I, I, I really don't for that. I like it. So you're saying like you're like you like uh, I know a lot of Arsenal fans have been like this, like praying for him to be fit. I'll be honest, this season I haven't really like I'm not saying we haven't missed him, but I genuinely feel like we've found ways to like deal without him and this is the first season that I felt like we're doing well without him so I don't really think about him as much um 
if he has like you a very is as well, right? I, 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 when I think about party, I feel like the same thing with um, Timber. I feel like you put Timber in the team, and we're looking good already. He just elevates even more. When you got party, I know we're looking good now, but with party in the team, I feel like you go up another two levels. I feel like that he's that good. The fact that he just wins the ball back, he you know his range of passing, he's athletic. You, everything about him, other than his shooting from outside the box, yeah. is magical. And the thing is, depending on the, the rotation of the team, he doesn't have to play every game because you've got enough players. You've got enough players in that position. So, honestly, I feel like people are just like, oh, yeah, get rid of him. He's a bomb. He's this, you know. Like, sometimes, you know, that's old, that old saying, you know, think about the, what's the saying? Sorry, the grass isn't always green on the other side. And I feel like if we get rid of him and he goes and he starts pulling out wherever he goes next in Europe, we're going to be like, oh, you know, we could have used a player like that. And I feel like it's these games that are coming up now where it's crunch time that we're going to need someone like him. Because Declan Rice has been amazing, but we have to also keep it real. Like what, like what Partey did for 70% of last season, we haven't seen that for a while. We haven't seen that for a while from any player other than probably Rodri. We haven't seen it. So I feel like we have to we have to be real, yeah, man. Um, I feel like that's a little like, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of kind of like, okay, well, that was great. And that was the first time that we've looked good in a long time. And so there's like a lot of like affinity towards that period of time where he was playing. But I'll be honest, I feel like he flattered to deceive in the big moments. I feel like the idea that in the run-in, he's going to be the guy that elevates us or gets us over the line there's very few games that i feel like he's actually done well in massive games and when i mean massive games i don't mean just spurs or you know the odd man united i mean like against liverpool and man city i feel like he's been here for four years we've played them how many times you could probably name once or twice where he's been the guy in those games so it's kind of like is it just like the way that we play when he's in the game is a lot more aesthetically pleasing and blah, blah, blah. Or is he act, is he actually a guy that's going to help us win those games? Because the way it looks and the result, I feel like, is, is, is conflicting to me. And we haven't really seen him play with Declan Rice. I feel like we know, like, we think it's just going to be so much better. But, I mean, we saw him in the Community Shield. He got worked. Foden ripped him. He went right past him. You know, he's not... He ain't saving us. Like, I don't know. I have a, I feel like maybe I'm just, I've soured towards him too much because of yeah, his injury. I, I do think Partey, just my, my last one, I think Partey somebody, he doesn't, he doesn't return straight away and hits the ground running. There are some players that can do that. He's not one of them. He needs to have four or five games to get himself back to a point um, of, of consistency and looking like the world-class player that he can look like at times. So, or more, a lot of the time. So yeah, listen, man, um, Honestly, I'll, I'll go with what you two say. Um, I, if it was me, if you had to push me, I would say keep. I would say keep. Okay. But, DG? Um, yeah, I'm happy keep. to go. Keep oh, it's, just, it's, it's one of them ones, man. There's a lot of baggage. There's a lot of moving parts. I think, you know, Mikel Arteta loves him, but he's been for, forced to do without him, really and truly. We're very fortunate Declan Rice is not, it has not been injured. Obviously, you look at the Spurs game where Jorginho has to hold his hands up for making that mistake. But, you know, Declan Rice came off. There is no Thomas Partey and we're overrun. I would like to keep Partey. If I'm honest with you, I, we, I hear the selling stuff and I lean more towards selling. But realistically, with his wages, we're not getting anything half decent. And even if you were to get 20, 30 million, which I'm very pessimistic on, how far, unless Arteta has found the gem, how far is that going to go towards addressing that midfield role? If I'm completely honest with you, I don't know. He's it's such a great because we all I think we all agree on the quality. It's just like it's a very complicated because of his injuries and stuff so we'll have to see like right now i feel like he'll be here next season but we'll definitely see um here well, let's let's talk about emil because i know like you know emil's another controversial one hail and our number 10 mostly always injured but there's like a again like there was a period of time where some people feel like arteta owes him his job. Some people feel like he's the reason why we started looking better in like the beginning of this project. I'll go to DG first. Like I know you like you. Why me? Him. Why me? Why me? Wait, Smith Row FC to the end. So Simple. keep, keep at all costs. Now I'm joking. Keep, keep, keep. But you know, if 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 these forty five million shouts are legit, 
Smith Rowe, the game's the game, my guy. But yeah, but I'm he's thinking. all profit. Does it have to be 45 million or would you sell for like it can be something like that? I'm just saying, even more reason to sell him because I didn't think definitely in the last two years we'd be in a position to get that. If I'm completely honest, man, I'd love to keep Smith Rowe, but if the man can't stay fit and he's nowhere near Arteta's plans, the world has to keep spinning, man. We ain't got time for sentiment, but I'm I'm keeping Smith Rowe to the end, man. Yeah, what do you think, Lee? Um, on the Emil Smith Rowe thing. I ain't going to lie. I feel like if I was the moderator on this show, I genuinely would block anybody that says keep him. Anybody. Oh, my God. And I'd block anybody. He just needs to go. Like He needs to go. You know what it is as well? Like Sometimes you have to look out for someone else's career. Let's just look at it logically. Arteta had a game where it was Sheffield United and it was Saka that came off and he brought on Fabio Vieira. Yes, Fabio Vieira. of the month for two. So for me, just, just on that premise, he needs to go because he's not rated by the manager. But, and, and we can say, oh, like, yeah, like he got him in a new contract. But he gave Aubameyang the captain and a new contract. And he's, and, he's still, um, and he's still got rid of him. So for me, look, like, I feel like the guy needs to go, man. The guy needs to go. Um, let him go and play some football. Let him get some rhythm. The guy's always injured. He got the number 10. It sounded great at the time. I never thought it was a good enough. It was a good reason to do that, you know, just because he's, um, you know, from Hale End. I'm getting rid of him, man. A hundred percent. I'm getting rid of him as soon as possible. I don't see the, I don't see the hype around the guy um, in terms of playing consistently at Arsenal. That doesn't mean he's not good because I feel like he is a good player. I just don't feel like he's good enough for, for Arsenal, man. And, and, and yeah, yeah. Like it's a, uh, it's unfortunate because you know you always want to you know you always want to give props to the guys that um come from the academy, but yeah, not for me, bro. Not for me. Yeah, that was cool, Lee, man. Fuck all of that Smith Row FC. <laughs> they well done back, man. I don't know about none of that. That was all cool, man. Like, hey, come on, man. Listen, Smith Row, keep the faith. Everyone who's got stocks, hold firm. I can't lie, it does look peak, though. It does look peak. Do you know what it is? It's what you used to famously say when you came on my... I can't remember exactly what you used to say when you used to come on my platform, but it's like, it's not what you've done. It's what you're doing for me. And at the mm. end of the day, if you're not fit, other people are taking opportunities. It's adapt or survive, innit? And this is what comes with a big, being at a big club. Like, he had a whirlwind of an initial period in his career. Number 10, scoring goals, doing his thing with Saka. We've all seen the all or nothing. Now it's about staying fit and getting your opportunities. And it goes back to what we've I've kind of said about Partey and Tommy Asu. The vast majority of this team really struggled to stay fit. And we need to move yeah. away from that. So but do you know what though? Like for me, look, like I do feel as much as I've said all the things I said about him, there should be no respect disrespect for me. And so if I have come across as disrespectful towards him at times, it's like you know I'm, he's coming back soon. The need to not more, more so because you, like <laughs> I feel like there has to be a level of respect put on a guy who did at points save Arsenal because we were dire. Say that again. He no, didn't. Okay, this whole saving. No, 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 no. I promise, oh, I never oh. heard. Let's keep it. Too much let's people keep, talking. What did you say? No. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real. I didn't right? hear what Lee said, Jess. What did he say? It all the way real, right? Let's now. keep it real. At that at that time of the season, yeah. we had lost. I think to Burnley at home. Wolves. Yeah. We had lost to Everton at home. Mm. Burnley, bearing in mind that we never, never lose to them. Everton well, we at the home, that we hadn't, we hadn't, we hadn't lost at them against at home to them. I think it was um, what's the pretty boy up front? I can't remember his name. Poor horse. No, that you know, you know he, you know he. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You're by yourself. I don't know. Front, really? and, uh, oh, Calvin Lewin, Dominic Calvin Lewin. He likes oh, to be a little pretty boy. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. You know, he likes to be a little pretty boy, man. You Maybe know, you look not about that, but I don't know. He likes, <laughs> to, he likes to wear. You listen. I mean, look, each their own, but he likes to like wear dresses and stuff like that. Yeah, the Dominic Calvin Lewin drip. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, not for me. But yeah, like I'll be honest, like that was a dire, dire time in Arsenal's recent history. And he's twenty three. Between man. him, between him, um, and Saka, they they did pull us out of the doldrums. So I'm not gonna go too, you know, much onto the kind of um, you know, him signing a contract and stuff like that. Because nah, man, I, I feel like you, you've got you've got a, another one with two years a left as well. Lee. Yeah, you've got you've got to give props to a guy, but I, I I will say, hand on my heart, he needs to go. All of this ESR loving, I hate this whole or what he did for me two three years ago in terms of for the football club. We have we see one season. He's been he's been a professional footballer at the top level 
playing in Germany, playing in England, playing in Arsenal as well for what four or five years, and he's had half a good season. It sounds and like clearly... hating shit to me. No, no, I hold on, I've just given... like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've just given him all that props. So yeah, I, we I, just I... want propaganda, bro. We no, don't no, want no, no, real. no. I'm, I'm, I have to give him. I so saw we have to keep it. We have to keep it real, man. For me. I just feel like people go too crazy with the, with the ESR loving. And what you've just done there is crazy. It's actually, it's actually <laughs> crazy. I actually don't understand how these how how there is a still an ESR hive. You know what? In this country, we have something called the EDL, which is the e, uh, English Defence League. But we know we're gonna change it to the Emil Defence League. And this guy right here above me, this He's guy the is team. a leader. He Listen, is the leader. Before I see you, my... are, you are the you are the you are the Tommy Robinson of the Emil Defence. Listen, League. Don't, I'm too far to turn back. Like, I'm here to the end. You know what? And one of the reasons why I have like a little bit of an agenda against Emil is because there was a period of time where people were actually like spreading this nonsense that we would move on from Odegaard and Emil would play in his position. Just wait for Emil to get fit. Just wait for Emil to get fit. I'm sorry. You're spending too much time on Twitter, man. I don't know who was saying that Odegaard's a there, big dog. It wasn't even, it was not even just on Twitter. Like I had people on the shows telling me that. And I was like, that That's is crazy. the wildest take. I'm sorry. Um, and so, like, obviously, I would love Emil to make it, you know, but I just feel like it's so hard for me to see somebody that's like 23. Oh, no, Jess, you hate wow. Smith, bro. Can I just say as well, right? Can I, you know what makes me laugh about like, oh, Arsenal fans hate Smith, bro? So if Arsenal fans hate Smith, bro, right? Because someone just said, oh, I've got an agenda, what the hell does Arteta have? Because he doesn't even play him. So if, if the manager, I don't, I don't know, someone pull up how many play, games he's played and the minutes he's played this season, yeah? If he plays minimal games, oh, minimal yeah. minutes, and he gets garbage minutes that someone like him, no, no, Ethan no way got time for sentiment, man. Smith Rowe's not in rightly okay, so but, he's not so playing. If that's the case, how can I have an agenda if the manager I don't know, I don't know what the comments are saying on Bro, you. I don't think you're wrong if I'm honest like, with you. It's yeah. actually mad though. When you actually deep it, it's almost like they think, Oh, because I say something that it's gonna happen. I am not the person. I literally just gave him props. I literally also said he needs to go because the manager doesn't want to play him and he doesn't trust him against Sheffield United. Sheffield United away. Yeah, we, were winning four, exactly. we were winning 4 0 at the time, right? No, hold on. We, no, sorry. We were winning 5 0 at the time. And at half time, he brought us, took off Saka. This guy's crazy. And then he brought <laughs> on, and then he brought on Vieira. Hey, hey, hey. Let's. What? No, we don't talk about Vieira on this on this channel. No, 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 Vieira is earning his minutes. No, Rodney, Fabio Vieira. Fabio Vieira. It's what it is, though. Yeah, it's what it is. I like him. It's not even like a Fabio Vieira agenda. I'm just saying, on the right wing, we needed a bit more. You, you would look at having a bit more pace, like except linking and connectivity, and you would want someone like Yasa in the position. And for England under 21s, he played on the right hand side. So for me, I just think. I look wait, at wait, hold on, wait, wait, song. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Swear down, Smith Rowe's got more Premier League appearances than party this season. We're leaving with satin. We're leaving with satin. You see, he's calling, he's loading, he's loading. Oh yes. my gosh, not a uh, who can play the least amount of games. No, nah, I actually need to see this. Class, it's uh, class. Work smart. Not like that. Market. Okay, let's let's move forward on the. We all know that like Emil is uh probably a a sell. You know, at the right price, maybe or somewhere oh, between there. Enough, it's, oh, there. Oh, like, it's not at the right price. Just sell. Just sell. No, no, no. Right price. Right price. Right price. <laughs> it's got to be so. No, it actually has to be so. Like for not only for Arsenal. We don't even have we anybody just, in this category. So yeah. No, no, it has to. I tell you why. Because it goes straight to the profit because he's homegrown. He doesn't play. The manager doesn't trust him. Sell. Smith Rowe. Your mm -hmm. time's coming, G. It might not be at Arsenal, but. What about the era? Keep, but it's time to show something now, man. I like the guy. I think he's a quality player, but it's time to start showing something, man. You were signed for 30 million quid, which isn't a lot of money, but at the end of the day, it needs to be justified. And where Fabio Vieira is concerned, you know, he did show in August he could do his thing, but, you know, you the 10 is Odegaard's, the 8 is open season to a degree. Right now, Jorginho and Rice are there. You're not a right winger per se. It's put up or shut up now, Vieira, man. Love the guy, but it's time to get over those injuries and show your quality because he's got the technical level. He's got everything you could want from a footballer. Just needs to stay fit and assert himself and maybe eat some more food. But I like Fabio, man. I, I won't be against it. If, if an offer came in for a certain fee, as much as I'm defending him, I'm not going to lie. If we can break even, he might have to cut still. I just, 
Yeah, I feel like he's. I like him, and I think he's he's gonna be good. But I just feel like yeah, it is time for him to start showing something. He can't just be Martinelli's best friend. Like you need to start yeah, doing all that Dragon Ball Z crap. He's a bowler, though. He's a bowler. <laughs> yeah, man. you can. I can. You can tell that there's something there, but I just feel like yeah. Raya said he's the most underrated in the squad. So, and oh, I believe man, I'm not seeing you play football. Like, I like him, man. Keep mm. for me, we. Oui? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, someone like Fabio Vieira, he's a good squad filler. He can play in the eight, he can play in the 10. Obviously, he's played off the right-hand side. I just need to see a little bit more because, um, yeah, if so not... What, Smith Rowe can't be afforded that same luxury, just specifically to Lee. What, you can't demand them? Like, what do you mean? Like, what kind of snaking listen, is this? Listen, Fabio You got signed for 30 million quid. I'm being Fabio's devil's advocate since we're all doing all of that. Fabio Fabio Vieira and ESR, there's n it's, it's potato potato, tomato tomato. It's, it's so then both of them get allowed, or both of them have to go, bro. No, no, but what I will say is ESR, his his injuries looked have to have been quite severe over the course of his season as the season that he's been here. And in comparison, since he, Fabio's been here, he can't stay fit either. No, you're you're right. So, and then so by your to, logic, you've got to allow both used, in it. I also look at the fact that the manager. Who does he trust? So that's an also neither. another. Thing. They're both getting little man minutes. Neither. No, no but, but, but is an Arteta signing. He'll get neither. more. Time. Exactly. So he yeah. has to play him, but neither are truly trusted. Really. Yeah, no, yeah. And again, that's why I'm not... let's let's be honest. He bat we batted Sheffield United or whatever. It's unheard of a Saka to get subbed. My man, get your little run out and get your fitness. And this, I'm I'm backing Fabio. I'm just saying, like purely for lead, like you gotta allow Smith Rowe. Smith, bro, if you're watching this live stream, you no. need to bust me some free tickets, bro, because I've been fighting <laughs> your case, bro. For time. Nah, nah. For no, me, nah. There's, 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 I don't look at, I don't see, I don't see enough from, to be fair, you're right. I don't see enough from either, but if you had to ask me which one I'd probably say that is a l more likely player to keep, 100% I'm going well, with the Brexit thing, You're snaking the mandem, like. Uh, listen, I'm going, listen, <laughs> listen, I love the homegrown thing, but bro, he's just like, I, half oh, a season of football, Ain't gonna save you, my guy. It ain't gonna save yeah, you. Yeah, nah, man. I listen, Fabio Vieira deserves more of an opportunity because Smith Rowe's been injured both. But yeah, I just wanted to fight his cause, man. Smithy, please, bro. Nice Seriously, try. Please, <laughs> please right. Smith Rowe, man. Please. Let's talk about Martinelli. Come on, don't be silly. Keep. Keep? Keep up. A lot of people cost, don't rate it. It's so crazy. It's Fuck so them. crazy. Keep at all costs, man. Keep at all costs. All costs. It's a big, big yeah. Martinelli. I think he's a obviously key. every player's got a price, but even the man that are up there with keeper all costs, but Martin yeah. is certified. Don't forget when we were crap, you know, he was another one that was fearless. Ooh, do, do you know the reason why I would say keeper all costs? Because if we're doing it the way that I think Jess was probably looking, then I could say get rid of Gabriel because you could get better. I could say get rid of Ben White because you could find someone better. I could say get rid of uh Odegaard. I mean, not to, but no, no. my point is there uh -huh. are better players. No, there are better players, but for me. What Martinelli does, what he brings, uh, you have to keep at all costs. Man. He's brilliant. He's just, he's just, he's direct. Uh, he's had a poor season, but he's direct. He's somebody who, you know, he's got 15 goals last season. I think the fact that when he plays with Saka, one of two, one or both of them will always have a good game. I think the reason why um, Saka had such a poor game against Porto is because there's another player who you might, you lot might kill me for. I just don't think he works on the right and left hand side, and I think I would probably get rid of him. But we'll get to that in a second. But for me, I think when you've got Ooh, the two no. players, mm -mm. <laughs> uh, uh. no, when you've got Martinelli, when you've got Martinelli and Saka, I think one or two of them always cook. So I'm saying Martinelli's got to be kept at all costs. I think kept at all costs for me. Keep at all costs is a little strong for me. But what I'm... the hell? Hold on. Can I just ask? How the hell have you got Tom Yassi, who's, as we just said, our bet number one def lockdown defender at keep, and you've got your boy Raya at keep, but you don't have Martinelli. You don't want to put Martinelli at keep at all cost. She knows Arsenal. Because it's different. <laughs> it doesn't even it's, make sense. It's different. It's actually, it's different. It actually don't even make sense. I don't even get how that would make no, sense. No, you know, Lee, this is a just take issue. How the hell? How the hell, how the hell can Timber, that's Timber, right? How the hell can Timber be keeper? Keep, but not at keep at all costs. But you want Martinelli in keep? I don't even make no sense. Because Martin, Martin, okay, Martinelli is, is definitely an upgradable player in my opinion. Like, 
And this I don't is, think I think it would be uh, I think it would be easier to upgrade on him than some of the other players that are in that section. But that's just me. I'm not gonna and lie, I, Jess, Jess. And I feel like Arteta feels the same way because we're always linked to left wings. So Jess, you Jess, you be doing wait, too wait, much. Wait, wait, wait. Paper talk no. means Arteta feels the same way because we're Jess, linked. You're doing too much now. Uh, is it paper talk that we were trying to buy Mudrick for 85 million? Do you think he was going to be sitting on the bench? Yeah, he could play on the left and right. Same with Pedro. No, I don't, no. dis I don't disagree you? with what you're saying, Jess. I just disagree with we're always linked. How do we quantify links? Jess, you're doing too much. Last season, the guy was 21 years old. He got 15 goals in the Premier League. I feel like you're doing too much right now. I feel you're okay. doing too much. Let's let's see. Because this season is not looking the same. Hold on a and second. And he is Odegaard from a goal scoring point. And I know you guys are going to try to blame Havertz for it, but Havertz is not. The no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Can I hold on? Let's go back. Let's go back for a second. But has Ben White looked too good this season? The same way he looked last season? He was injured. The only time Ben White didn't oh, look good. Martinelli's been injured. Martin he wasn't been injured. injured. Yes, Martinelli's been bad all season. Are you crazy? He was injured against the Man City game for like three games, four games, and then he came back. He came off the bench. What are you on about? Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. This is nasty. This, this is some nasty this, stuff. This is right crazy. This Hold on a second. Crazy. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's Hold just a keep. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just, I, I actually just want to, I just want to get to the... To yeah, the, the that Brazilians, blood. Yeah, proper root of this. So you feel that you would get rid of Martinelli because you feel he's e easily upgradable. I said there's other. No, but not in terms of like in terms of the two. But you would you could get rid of him because you believe he's easily upgradable. That's what you're basically saying. I said he's easy to like he's easier to upgrade upon than like I don't think there's more than like two players that could do what Odegaard does for us. I don't think there's more than like two players that could do what Saka. I genuinely feel like there are left wingers out there that could do more than what Martinelli's doing for us, and would fit the position better. Martinelli is just yeah, but that's for the, for, the, for the money for the money that you're gonna yeah, have to pay for pay for a player like that. For the for the okay, all right. Let me let's just say let's 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 put it like this then. Last season it was um Craver from um Napoli, the left winger. He looked imperious last season. Napoli um uh, sorry, Oshiman, he looked imperious last season. They're not having the same season they had last season. Neither Sometimes, is Martinelli, so please don't don't use exactly, this argument. So, and, but they won the league. They won, my point is, they won the league. It doesn't mean that just because they've he's had an he's he's been injured all season. He's been fighting injuries all season. Now all of a sudden, because he's had a drop off of a season. So what is Rashford oh. now like this ultimate no, bunny player? Out of like, all the players in this squad, no, Martinelli no, no. will turn up That's in big crazy. games. No, no, no. Like last there's, season, and there's ah. Anthony said it. Jess has been on Martinelli's neck for a time. Like I've always kind of had that feeling on on Martinelli that he could be upgraded upon. Wait, so. and, and you know what you're going to make me do, so, Jess, you're going to make me say something I actually don't even want to say, but I'm going to say it because I'm being fair. Well, well you can put the same thing leveled at Odegaard because there's been many times in big games where people say he hasn't turned up. So if that's the case, then we we have to keep the same energy. And you know I love my thing is not that, My I, thing is not about big games with Martinelli. I just, I genuinely feel like there are other, like there are about, there's quite a few players that I feel like could do that or well, better it's, in that okay, fine. it's not about it's not about big games but you're, what we're saying to you is you're saying that in in the arsenal squad he's one of the players that you feel he could be easily upgraded on he's not saying get rid of but easily upgraded on but if we're talking about that you're saying that in games he's obviously not turning up or his skill set is not of a highest of the highest quality there are other players that you feel that are better than him but we're saying to you there are players in the squad that you've got even in that first role who are quite easily upgraded on. And you even look, there's a player in keep that is Tom Yasu, who you could say is a better defender than Ben White. And you've not put him in that list, in that role. So you're not keeping the same energy. I feel like I am keeping the same energy. No, you've got Tom Yasu in keep. Yeah, but we all agreed on that. Like these are this is a, a group assignment. Like I some agree. Of these no, I agree with you. I'm agreeing with you. But what we're saying to you is your 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 thing with Martinelli is that he he's easily upgraded on, but there are other players in these in these roles that I feel that you could keep the same energy on, but you're not. There's not in that top row, in that keep at all costs row. I don't think there's more than one or two players that we could get that would be better in that position 
for us. I just genuinely don't. Martinelli, I just, I don't view him on the same level. I just, in terms of like players that I'm like, I would, and to be honest with you, you guys, like, I feel like Declan Rice, Saka, Odegaard, and Saliba are probably, and, and Gabrielle's also been in that category and Ben's getting into that category where I'm like, there's probably just not anybody that I would prefer in that position. Martinelli, there are other players that I look at and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. You know, so I'm not saying sell. I, I didn't say sell him, but keep at all costs. If Barcelona offered, like, if, if Barcelona offered us, what, let's say 70 million for Martinelli, are you guys not even going to look at it? I would say the same thing about Ben White. I would say the same sure. thing about Gabriel. But answer but every, by that logic, everyone's got a price, isn't it? You yeah, could that's your point. Yeah, this is literally once you start was... getting to them 70s, 80s, no, but 90s, there is... 100s. No, but could... I, if if no, I, I would not sell Saka because I agree with Jess in that the front three is the most one that, that I would look at, but like you're downplaying him big time. No, I just the same energy is not being extended to certain it's crazy. I actually love as much as you. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. So, I and you know what. What what's the what the maddest thing is is when I genuinely look at that older god, you I love this guy. People get onto this guy too much, but there have been games where people have looked at him and said they've called him Ghost God because he's not turned up, he's not he's not done his usual passing, not kept the ball, and we're gonna see it against Man City if he turns up. I think he will because I love him, but I just feel like the the same thing you're talking about, Martin Lilly. You can talk about Odegaard. You you can no because you can't name you can't name four, five, six players that could do what Odegaard can do for us. You just can't. But I can name at least three or four players that can play left wing for us. So as it four or five for Martin Lee. Sorry. What, name them. Why? Because you just said you can. Why do I have to name them right now? You just said you title? just said you can. I'm not trying Why to catch you up. I just wanted to know. We're having okay. a football talk. I think Brahim Diaz could do do just as good a job. Pedro Neto can do just as good of a job. Nico Williams could do just as good of a job. Leal could probably do a good job on our left hand side. Like that's four right there. And I'm Fair not enough. even thinking hard. Fair enough. I'm not even thinking hard at all. Yaki guys. Williams off one good season right now. And Martinelli up one good season. He's had one really good season. One standout season, not just one good season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that, yeah. That's actually what I should have said. One standout season. Yeah. He's not on the same level as the other ones for me. So that's just. And I agree with that, but like you're talking like he's. Some but keep standard. keep at all costs. If I'm sorry, if Real Madrid or Barcelona or PSG offered us 75 million for Martinelli, I would consider it. There's not a single player in keep at all costs, apart from probably Bakayo Saka, because my bias to him that would not be gone for them sort of fees upwards. If we're honest, every player's got a press. I would not sell Odegaard, Saliba, Saka, or Declan Rice for anything. Well, then that's why you what. All so, of these guys got on him. Listen, unless you're Lionel Messi, you can be upgraded upon, you know. Okay. And if these players go I, to the way I we all believe they can, they'll I need to like be. I'm going to agree to disagree on this one. I'll put them in keep at all costs, but we'll we'll come back to this next season. For what it's worth, I think he's in. I actually down. more lean to you, Jess. I just think you're doing a lot. Okay. I, 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 will, I, I will say as well, Liao's got 10 goals in, in the Serie A, well, in all competitions in 30 something games. Martinelli's got eight goals in 32 games. So, you know, talk, talking about somebody who's, uh, you know, you very few big him. game players in that squad, then Mr. Martinelli, whether he scores or not. I tell you what, nah, yeah, for me. So, anyways, he's in Martinelli the Martinelli has eight goals this season? Yeah, in all comps, yeah. Oh, in, in all comps, okay. And so does, but Leal's got 10 in all comps. Okay. Okay. Transitional hype. Okay. Just saying. Well, we will come back to this next season and you guys will you guys will see it. Like he's not on the same level as the other players that you guys I agree about. with that comment. So let's not get me involved in that. I agree with the comment. So I just don't agree with some of the co points you've made to counteract on him. Keep at all costs. Like he's not. Let's just be serious for one second. So yeah, <laughs> but anyways. Martinelli is a great player. Like I'm not saying he's not, which I know that that's trying to be this trying to be twisted into he she hates him. Don't nobody hate oh, him. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, trying to be twisted. Okay, let's let's move on because really? I know you guys are on nonsense with this one. People are trying to sell Trossard. I'm keeping him. 
I'm keeping Trossard for a couple years. Because you guys both hate Trossard. Fucking it's hell, so, man. This so hate clear. and stuff. Who hates him? Like, this hate stuff needs to move, man. Because we could just say you hate Martinelli. Trossard's a good player. Mm. I, I would sell. I would sell. I would, I'd I would sell at sell. the right price, man. But sell I'm at keeping. the right price? No, I'm, I would sell at the right price, but Trossard's part of the keep. I'm keeping him because he goes a bit like what Lee was saying earlier, where you look at Jorginho and a couple of others, they're experienced players, they're kind of all rounded. You kind of know what you're going to get to a degree. I do think, you know, sometimes Trossard flatters to deceive, but I'm keeping him, man. Yeah. So, I, 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 me personally, I feel like you can get money for him, so I would sell. You putting him in the cell? I would, yeah. I, for me, I feel like he's not a right, he's not a left winger for sure. I don't like him in the eight role. I, I really don't. I think he's actually quite a bit useful in the fourth nine or number nine role, but Havertz is taking that. So I just think the, the way the squad's been built up, I would I would probably sell. Yeah, I would probably get rid of him. I would probably get rid of him, yeah. I, he's definitely not a left winger. But that is for sure, for sure. The thing that saves Trossard which is, I guess, a, a good thing. Super is that he gets goals. He gets goals. He gets he, he oh, numbers. The hardest thing to do in football. Oh, yeah, he yeah. just scores goals. No, wow. that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. He I'm just, sad. he just, he, it saves him because he scores goals. All right, hold on, hold on. Would you have said that about Martin Lee last season when he got 15 goals? Because he just gets goals, right? Yo. That's like a You're whole not keeping thing. the same energy. We ain't keeping the same I energy. Know. I know the same energy i don't i see y'all are trying to get me in trouble i like mark <laughs> Kelly. i just don't think it's keep at all costs i just no 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 not keep at all costs oh so i was saying apologies yeah okay i get you saying yeah. yeah like trossard trossard is like um is is a keep for me but like you know he's older and stuff so i'm like i'm not gonna cry if he's gone i just you know he does score goals. I do think like the same things that people say about Martinelli, why he's not having a good season this season. They're like, well, he's isolated. And he's not near anybody. It's a graveyard shift on the left-hand side. I don't think trust our, anybody would do well there really, but it is what it is. It really is. So trust hard. We'll put him in sell at the right price. I let's, we all want Eddie sold, right? Uh, let's not waste time. Please, please, please. Uh, Reese Nelson. My guy, but it's probably best that you cut man. Yeah, yeah, he should have gone Crystal Palace last season. Okay, uh, and then I think Kai Havertz were all like keep right, keep. Yeah, I don't, keep, know, about keep. That. I don't know about that level there, but yeah, keep, 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 keep. keep. Yeah, this how no, our tech I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but keep, yeah, keep, keep, keep. Not at okay. Uh, Gabriel Jesus. Keep. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll sell at the right price. I'll sell at the right price. I'll really? sell at the right price. That Jogger Benito doesn't keep me there. That doesn't pay the bills, man. I need. <laughs> I need. I, I need you to do more than just you know. Do, hello, May. I so we for, we forget in City and United. Man's a Listen, warrior, man. man. Every Listen. player could be sold for the right price. Jesus, yeah. you're staying, my guy. Let, but Listen. okay, the th the thing about Jesus though is that just like, needs to stay fit, man. He needs to stay fit, but even he's okay. If we had like to play, what the kind of squad do you man think you lot think we have to be saying sell Jesus? Let's, like seriously, hold on, hold on. If I this is this is a I, like I really want to hear this, especially from Lee. If we had to play the game of our season this season, right? Like we're in the Champions League final, or this is the end, and we need to win for the the for the for the league. Who are you playing at nine? Gabriel, a fit Gabriel Jesus or Kai Havertz? Havertz. Jesus cannot finish his dinner. He can't. Why are we acting like we haven't seen it? And let, let's just keep it 100. We, like, why are we not acting that like we haven't seen it at this club? We haven't seen it at Man City. <laughs> we haven't seen it at Brazil. There's well, a what, reason. What, what there, player that plays through the nine there's, is there's, clinical there's, at this there's club? A, there's a reason why. There's a reason why. Okay. Who is clinical as a number nine at this football club? There's a, there's a reason why. Rich Arlison, even Rich Arlison. We know Jesus can't score goals, but who He's plays through the middle at Arsenal Football Club that is clinical? If anything, it's probably Trossard, and he don't play up there. And I wouldn't describe right. him as clinical. All right, if so being clinical, is it? I agree with you. Havertz's big games is a bad boy, but 
let's not disrespect Jesus. It's, it's, come no, on, we're now. not. We're not. We're, come we're, on, nah, you're not, boy, you're not not a boy. You you're boy. It's not disrespect thing. It's not disrespect thing. It's you more just boy, like, you. when you're at the top. Or when you're at a top club, you have to. It's fine, here's man. And for me, I'm looking at Jesus, and I'm Lee, looking at the light shining on our squad. Though, are, are we he, really in a position no, where man can say so? Jesus, that's what you're doing. But you're you're trying to. That means you know what you're doing. You're you're being you're being a cronky supervisor because you're saying, oh, no, 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 hey, 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 you throwing all these stuff around, hey, hey. I'm just saying, look at look at our squad. No, no, that means that means that that means a club need to put money in their pocket and spend some money in Jesus. We have a squad where we can say, all right, Jesus fucks off right now. Are we a stronger squad or whatever? Because we need no, a strike already. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not saying and that. We're talking about, we need, you said, you don't know, no, 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 Lily. You said you need experience, right? Earlier, you said you need experience, right? You said you need experience. We need experience players, right? Yeah, but so we know but whether Jorginho signs a new deal or not. He's not going to be here forever. You get, you get in players long. in. Gabriel Jesus has a though. lot of I'm experience. Saying, but I'm not so saying Jesus can't, can't be in the squad. One at a time. What is the point? What is the point keeping a guy? Rashtar, it's he's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, I hear you. Know, if there's know, offers, but man, are talking like he's a scrub. No, I didn't say that. that. I'm not talking, selling I just him said, in no summer. My, wait, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. When you're at the top club, you have to be very, very fine trimming with these players. 100%. The reason why, and again, as we spoke about two days ago, sometimes a player, the squad had moves past you. We spoke about Zinchenko. The squad's moved Has past him. Has this squad moved past Gabriel Jesus, where he's a first-team regular on the bench? Has it moved Holden, past him? Hold on. Yes, the squad has moved past him because... It has I moved past think. Gabriel Jesus. Yes, because... Are we you seeing the guys that are starting and playing on a regular basis? To be saying any of this about Gabriel my, Jesus. My, no, my point is to you, you get somebody better. You get two players better. You can get players that are better than him that are going to last throughout a season. So I hear I'm, that. But man, are talking like it's, 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 I don't know, Reese Nelson or something. No, uh, we're talking because, no, because we, we it was easy. We, we spent, we didn't spend no time on Eddie. We didn't spend no time on Reese. Why? Because we know they're, they're, they're going anyway. They're, they're crap. Well, no, maybe nah, not so much. No, no, Reese, Reese they're isn't, but like, yeah, yeah, like, but uh, even ESL, we spent <laughs> time in Reese. Not knowing, <laughs> no, we know, 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 we Oh, Jesus, okay. Okay. Hey, Jesus, oh. Jesus, the squad, we have moved past him now. It's not to say he's crap, but we're How? trying to get... How have we moved past Jesus? We have to get players in. How have we moved past Jesus? I'm asking, oh. how I have mean, we moved past okay. Jesus? Can, can, we're top of the league without him. That's how we've moved past him. Okay, okay, okay. Are we forgetting City, him right wing? Are we forgetting what he did against United? I'm not saying you're wrong. I think we need someone else uh, here to play up front. He played uh, his part. Let's not do any of that. How have we moved past him? Have sure. we won a Premier League? Who in this club has won a Premier League title at this football sure. club? I can't accept that. Dead. Sure. Dead. Okay. Virginia. So yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, ma I agree with Lee on the, like, you know, if we had to play the game of our lives, who would start? I do think it would be yeah, Havertz. That's cool. Move and, past and the Gabriel is, Jesus where? But the, the, the things that Gabriel Jesus does that we're all talking about, he can do and nobody else can do. We just need to do what City do with Jesus, man. Just part of the squad. You're not the main man. I, but move all past I'm him. saying is Jesus, I, I don't feel like the things that he does is so the jinky jinky. I feel like it's more about it looks good, then we're getting results from it. Like, I don't... Kai Havertz, as much of a bum as everybody thinks that he is or said he was, there's not a big gap between the two of them in terms of how we perform with, you know? And if you're like, okay, well, one of them has won a Premier League and the other one hasn't. I mean, one actually scored the winning goal in a Champions League and the other one was, like, a part of a squad that won. So... I don't know. I feel like we have kind of moved past Jesus a or little we bit. we just need both of them in the squad. They've got transferable winning experience. Like, until we've won the Champions League, you can't this have lots this thing within reason. Until we've won four or five champ Premier Leagues, can't say we, we can't say we've moved past Gabriel Jesus. He has to be here in some capacity. I if agree. He, if certain offers, cool. Gone, though, oh, if he, yeah. You can't say Injuries, that, I hear it. If you want to move on from him from all of that, I get it. But what? That's what, what? That was, that's part of it though. The part of it no, is I hear that, but like, man, we're all no. people are this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. 
One sec, one sec, one sec. You're going, you're, you're, you're going on like I'm saying he's some scrub. He's rubbed, and he, we, he, nah. he's not good enough. We said we've moved I'm, on from him. <laughs> yeah, but DG, what that means is, what that means is, is what he offers us now, we can, we can, re, we can replace that in an, in another way with a different type of player. I hear that, I'm, but like talk, I don't talk. agree with this. We've moved past him, Ding. Yes, so but DG, the reason why you can say that is because we're top without him. He hasn't been here. He hasn't contributed. I did. I, I, that's that's the first. You know what? You're right. I haven't seen the league table. That's the first I've heard about that. That's crazy. You're okay, right. cool. So we're you're top. Right, and right. and if you're gonna do that energy, if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna do exactly that, then you need to move Partey from his position because they are two peas in a pod. The both Man, of them. Fuck Partey, bro. I was snaking for Gabriel Jesus. Fuck this party. is my point. We, we have to keep the same energy. I'm sure English, you know this. <laughs> No, we've got to keep the same energy, bro. Like we've got if you're if you can't talk about one without talking about the other. The same way how you know what you did before, you're right. You can't talk about Fabio Vieira really and truly without talking about ESR. Maybe so uh, in terms of keeping it because one was an artist of player brought in and one was there already but you have to keep the same energy because they're both two peas in the pod and you can't sit there and say oh we don't have players in the squad that that's the reason why we're keeping players like Dorginio and you get in players because the the, the, the way we are in a project we were there first we phase need one. Jesus for that just like Jorginho and have the, them, man. In, Jesus in, is in needed first, for that in the first First part of the project, you were trying to get players that will come in and make a difference to get us into top four. We've done that. The second part of this project, or whatever it is, you solidify the players you've got, you've extended the players, and you've, you're, you're sort of getting players that you know can challenge. The last part is winning. So are we in now. a position where Jesus can't be a squad player? Is that how far we've advanced this project? Yes. That these men yes. can't be a squad player? player. No, DG, DG, the whole thing you have to remember is I'm are also we forgetting him in the Champions DG. League. DG, I'm also incorporating the fact that he is injury prone. No, I hear that. And that's the biggest inconsistency. For me, it's the fact okay. that he cannot so, stay fit and he can't score goals. So you can only be a certain point. But we can't ever sit here and say we've, we're in a position we've moved past. Can I, can, I, can I say something now, too? Like, I do feel like, like, what does Lucas say? He said, Jesus with 10% less athleticism is not the player you think he is. Thank you. And I agree with that. I feel like if we're okay, losing... We're going to do that. Half the players are not the same. That's BS. If we're, if we're losing the explosiveness, because because he doesn't have, and like as a striker and attacker, his main skills are like his his sharpness, his explosiveness, his ability to like you know do you know dribble his and stuff intelligence, like that. his manipulation of space, his link up play, no, his versatility, really. his ability. What? The jinky jinky. What? It's mostly that. Like, come on, because he's not. Come he's not on, right? Come on. All right, you know what? You look alright, man. Fair oh. enough. Let okay. Oh. Are you gonna let me? Are you gonna let me finish? No, no. I'm I'm, I'm, I've got nothing else to say. say. Fans, we we do know that we tend to keep players a little bit too long, and all I'm saying is that like he's right in between keep and sell at the right price. But I think one more year. But if that knee is dead, and we go into next season, and he has to get fluid taken out of his knee and stuff like that, I feel like what? I what that. are we doing? That's all I'm saying. So it's hard to know now. But um, I don't think Jesus has played well at all this season, to be honest. Like, maybe one good game in the Champions League, but I think he's... What? He's, he's only good. had one good game in the Champions League. Really? Come on, Jess. Really? really? Yeah, against Sevilla. Away. All right, I think you need to... All right, I hear that. I just think you need to go back to the start of the season and go and look at stuff, personally. I mean, he, was, I he wasn't that. even look, playing. Like, do you remember... Do you I, hear that. That. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Because I did very much disagree with that. That's he's only had one good game, and that's been in the champs. I think for me, look, the way I look at it, whether you think that's it's fair. shameless or not, I think that where Arsenal, where Arsenal now are now, we don't we we're in a, we're in a position that we're we're level on par with Man City and, and and Liverpool in terms of where we are in the league and the way that we play football and where the where 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 we're trying to go to. He's only had one good game though, really. This season, I don't care. Like, I don't know, yeah, I no, no, I'm not, I, I'm not talking about. Uh, for me, I look it's at like City, I look, and, I look, like City and United games have just been vanished, and even in the champs, there's well, been more than one good game. Against, in the champs. Well, I'll I'll respond to that. Ridiculous. Against City, our our attack was dead. It it just okay. Was. And a week, yeah, okay, so, because he didn't against, score. And against stop Man United, soon, man, like, come on, you, yes. The the beginning yes, of the really. Season, hold on, let let me let me finish. Let me finish against like Man United. He came in at the end because remember, Eddie started like the whole beginning of the season because he was not there. Team is he, about. Came in, he came in, he scored the third goal. 
that it wasn't even the winner. It was the third goal at the very end of the game. It was the one that so, silenced it all. It was the one, and, I, and again, I'm not saying Hayes used to be better than me. It was the one that silenced it all. It's a game a of fine margins. Are we forgetting how what he did right wing against City? And I'm not here to say Hayes used is the best thing ever. I just don't agree with it's been one game. That's a lie. That's bullshit. Come on. Our, our attack was poor against City. We won the game. City's because an Brighton. ugly performance. It's just about gritting it and getting it done. Are we? Are we? Are we moving mad? Please, Jess. Let's go watch City right now. Let's go watch City the Emirates right now. Let's watch rewatch that game right now, people. Come on, come if on. Can, if y'all can name good games come that he's on. had where he started and played like come on, come on. City, Manchester City at the Emirates. Gabriel Jesus didn't play fucking out of his skin. Really, really. Are we gonna do that? Fair enough. I, I, I'll be honest, man. I, I, I'll be honest. He did play well, but I, I, I'm, I'm, people could say, oh, Jorginho's played well this season and they still want him gone. I, I'm not saying... I hear that. I hear that. I'm not saying that he's... I'm crap. just saying it's the squad thing. There's different heroes and protagonists. I'm yeah, just I'm, saying I'm, I hear I'm, that. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting rid of him. I'm not going to lie to you. He's I hear that. From, he's from one game? Team. That's nonsense. No I, no, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. But. I think he's had maybe one really good game this season. No, he was good. No, we had. I remember the, the ball got kicked out from. I think it was. Was it Ramsdale or was it right? I can't remember. And he, you know, he did a little nice turn. No, you played well. You played well. But I, I, I'm not gonna, you know, keep waxing lyrical cool about the guy because he's a great. Yeah, player. Man, let's but move on, man. Just I just we'll, have him, we'll, we'll put him in the keep. We'll put him in the keep. Like that's fine. He can like, go for the right gonna, rest, but I just don't like the rhetoric around him. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so last but not least, I do want to get opinions from both of you guys on the center forward position just before we get out of here, because before we really got started, I kind of, I wanted to, you know, we had spoken about like Jokaris and, and Tony, what is your feeling on it? Lee? Like, is there somebody specifically that you'd want to get? Would you be disappointed if Arsenal didn't get a striker? Cause there are, there is some stuff out there about just getting a full word, you know? So what, what is your feeling on it? Uh, uh, for me, Tony's definitely not the one for me. I, I think just more so in terms of, uh, I just don't like his his demeanor, man. I just feel like he's, he's he does he does too much. He does he's too desperate for things. And mm. yeah, he's he's um he's got certain qualities, but this is this is the most snobbery thing that I'm probably going to say. He just just doesn't scream at somebody who's going to make the um you know make that step up and you know help us to win these big trophies. Um, mm -hmm. It's funny that someone's put it in the chat, but listen, I said it to DG two days ago. I'm I, for me, Isaac, I, I, Alexander Isaac from Man Newcastle. That guy is. Uh, I feel like he's made for Arsenal, man. Um, there's some players that I'm sure we've been linked to, and um, I haven't seen enough. The Oshiman one, uh, I'm worried because of the injuries. Um, from what I saw, his injury record does look a bit spooky. Um, when I was looking at it with DG the other day, we saw that. He had COVID a few times, and so we removed that. And he had, um, I can't remember, he had cheek, like some the muscle cheek injury. We allowed him, for yeah, that, the cheeky you know? cheek injury. And then he was in between, it was peak, yeah. I, I was a bit, I was a bit spooked. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too happy with what I saw there. Um, and and then obviously, he had another injury which was like muscular fatigue, and he was just out for a few days. I don't really know, but yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not one to be um crying home for somebody like Osherman. Um, I think what he does all round, I think he is quite useful and, and advantageous to us. But yeah, um, I'm not too sure. I know we looked at Isak's record the other day as well. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like Isak, man, that guy is, he, he's made for Arsenal, man. And okay, fair, so, so we're, like, we're going to give exceptions to people that we like more. No, no, no. Because the injury record for Oshiman was worse. I'm, I'm sure that's what we looked at. I'm, unless I'm going crazy. That's I'm beautiful. sure we looked at Oshiman's and it was worse. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could see that. I mean, I, I could see as I, I understand why a lot of Arsenal fans want Isak. I think he's, he's good. The injuries are just like, for me, it's just like, it has me a little shook. I'm not gonna lie, DG. What's your opinion on the Isak thing? You know, is quality, it, is it quality worth player, going? Well, quality player. I just can't see it happening, man. They're gonna probably want too much money. I think there's an admiration for Isak, and I just don't think Arsenal will get him from Newcastle. You never know. And you know, if he signed, he's very much an Arsenal sort of player with the way he works, the channels, his mannerisms, and things like that. But you'd imagine, like, 
I can't, what, he was at Sociedad or whoever, right? You'd imagine we ran the rule over him before he went over to Newcastle. So it feels like we just never took that jump. But you never know. I mean, we could do a lot worse. We've got a lot worse, allegedly. So, yeah, man, I'd love his at but It's just a myth. I'd prefer him to Tony. I think Jokerez looks good. I like Osman, but again, as Lee's saying, the injuries. And as me and you have said before, Jess, I've always said, like, I don't think there's a striker that 100% convinces me. So, Agreed. I'm happy I'm not Arteta in there, do, man. What about Jokeris, um, Lee? I was saying I haven't, I really haven't seen enough. I, I'm, I'm, from, but what the the stuff I have seen, I just felt again, it's, it's, it's it is partly football snobbery and the stuff that I've seen. I don't trust the, the Portuguese league. I really don't. I don't trust the hype of what that offers. I don't see, I don't see enough from him to say, yeah, he's ready to take the step up. Um, I think that I didn't know that he's, I think he's 26 years old. So that's a nice age. Again, with a bit more experience, similar to um, Jesus, funny enough, in terms of the age and profile mm -hmm. stuff. But I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not blown away. When I see Isak, I, I'm blown away by this guy. I just feel like, yeah, he put him, you plug him into an Arsenal squad, you plug him into a Man City squad. And I just think he goes up tenfold. I think he gets numbers not as Good as as Harlan, but I think he gets some nasty numbers, man. I'm I'm talking about 30, 26, 27 goals in the league. So um yeah, I think he's that good. Um so yeah, it's not it's not about it's not about favoritism necessarily because yeah, they both have bad injuries. Oshiman, I'm, I'm talking about Oshiman here. here. Um, but yeah, I I'm looking at Isak and I think, yo, like this is crazy. How how is Isak rubbish? I actually I actually don't uh, how. How is Isak that's, that's, that's rubbish. Crazy. like rubbish? He doesn't have to be a cup of tea, but rubbish is crazy. I feel like and Isak... Ketia is crap. Nah, that's, that's who's crap. No, Eddie's not crap. He's just not good enough. No, he Eddie's not rubbish. crap, man. That's deep. He's not. Crap. He's, he's not crap. Isak, uh, just he's he looks like it like the quintessential Arsenal striker. So I feel like he gets a little bit more favor from the the fan base. He doesn't really score like to me. Doesn't really score that many goals like. He, he scores goals, but he's not like a bagsman, you know, kind of thing. Um, but because he looks good doing what he does, he gets away with it. Where I think Jokeris does have the ability to maybe be more of like a a quantity score. Like I feel like he can score a lot more, but he just doesn't look as good. So um, I don't like Isak's injury record um, at all, but he looks great. And, and that's just it. Guys, we are going to get out of here. There's 250 of you guys in here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Um, just for people that um, didn't really get to see everything, we did the um, sell and keep. And I'll go back to it really quick just so you guys can see what we came up with. And we're not really selling that many people. We're keeping... Not everything's been call signed to people. <laughs> Not everything's been called sent. This is all you guys. This is your work. Like, nah, I nah, nah, no. Wait, this is a just uh, statuship. We're just existing okay. in her world. Okay, fine, 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 fine. But that if is, this is all we sell, the same, this is not enough. You know, we need to sell more than this. You guys know. Well, that. you have. I, I was saying to DG the other day, there are some players that are on loan. So Tavares, I had uh, Cedric's going, Nabi's going. Um, uh, you've also got who was the other one? There was somebody Sammy. else. He needs selling. Oh yeah, Sam. Oh yeah, and Tierney. That was the other one. Tierney, the young yeah. and them so, kind of players. Uh, yes, so, yeah, Lukonga. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think I think out. I think out of Ram, it was Ramsdale, Tavares, Tierney, Lukonga, part well, Partey, if he goes, uh, ESR, Nelson, and Ketia, obviously, and and Cedric. You'll get about ninety-five million quite easily, quite easily. Um, Edu is our sporting director, so let's see. What he does, we tend to not sell as good as I yeah, you're right. But you, there's no way that you can't get 20 million for um Ramsdale. There's no way that you can go, you can't get seven to ten mil for Reese. There's no way you shouldn't be getting any less than 15 to 20 million for Eddie. He's played for England, he's got a few goals for Arsenal this season, and on top of that, he's gonna go into be a first team or wherever he is. So that's at least 15, 20 million. ESR 10 million, and the only reason why I'm going to say 10 million is because of his lack of game time, which I think Arteta is making a mistake on. Because I think if you're going to get rid of him, you need to play him. Um, yeah. So I think there are, and then obviously Partey, I think if you, as we said, 20 million pounds, so that's at least 90 million pounds. I've just said right that quite easily. So, and then I haven't even included Tierney that you can get for five, 10 million, get rid of the books. Lukonga's had a great season, 15 million pounds. So there's, there's money there, man. There's money.
Yeah, definitely for sure. And if this is what we're left with, like I'm sure everybody in these top three will probably be here. That's a good team. Add a couple more pieces to it and we're doing the business. So I'm excited about it. Um, you guys, make sure that you guys like and subscribe on your way out. And don't forget to go to DG's channel. We did a live show earlier today and talked about a lot of this stuff. <laughs> and then... Uh, I can't what? have manners again. You see, I can't. I... <sighs> Why? Okay, like, I feel like I was really nice today. And I did. I was very nice. Right? Mm. Yeah, wow. man. Wow. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm invited back. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah, okay. Man. I, I've been nice today. So make sure you guys go to DG's channel, like and subscribe. And both me and Gunnar Lee did live shows on there. So you guys can go and like, Check those out after we talked about more stuff. And um, yeah, we will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Make sure you subscribe.